what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I never heard of this before, but I guess it's the first time for everything. The Secret Service can no longer pay for the hundreds of agents it needs to carry out an expanded protective mission, in large part due to the sheer size of Donald Trump's family and efforts necessary to secure their multiple residencies up and down the East Coast. Secret Service has said that more than 1,000 agents have already hit their federally mandated caps for salary and overtime allowances, which were meant to last an entire year. Oh, well, what about Obama? Obama? What about Obama? Obama? <laughs> you know what? Every time something goes on with Donald Trump, anytime somebody's critical of Donald Trump, they say, Obama, Obama, Obama. That's like being in a relationship with somebody and you always bringing up what the other person did who they was in a relationship with. Like the minute that they're critical of something that you do, you say, well, well what about John? You know, what about Marquise? You know, you, let, you didn't treat Marquise like that. Well, you let Marquise get away with it. Well, what about this and what about that? Can you imagine being in that type of relationship? That's what it like. That's what it's like for the Trumpeteers and Donald Trump himself. Always trying to kick the can. But they take credit. Now, when it's time to take some credit, if he do any little thing, he really ain't accomplished nothing. I mean, absolutely zero since he's been in office. Ain't accomplished jack. But any little thing, if they they, they, they want to praise him. <laughs> oh, uh, Donald Trump woke up today. You know, at least he did better than Barack Obama. He didn't wake up. Somebody had to wake him up. He had to use an alarm clock. Donald Trump woke up by himself. <laughs> I guess you just take whatever you can get. Trump said last August that if he became president, he wouldn't have time to play golf. What artist was that that said, had that song called You Got Played, You Got Played, You Got Played? Which one of the rappers had that song, You Got Played? What trips me out about the people who continue to support Donald Trump and make excuses for him is that I'm thinking about like it reminds me of that old saying see a fool, use a fool and these are some real fools now I can understand that maybe some of y'all made a mistake at some point you made a mistake you thought he was going to do wonders you thought he was that guy you made the mistake but now after all of this evidence after clearly seeing that this dude is incompetent, after seeing that this dude is clearly a segregationist, after clearly seeing that he is a divider and conqueror, he's a thief, a crook, he's crud, no class, you still backing him, still trying to find excuses. So what does that say about you? Something is wrong with you too. Really it is. Everybody can't be wrong. Like the majority of the world just cannot be wrong. Something is wrong with Trump and something is wrong with his supporters. This is what they're saying that Donald Trump has spent so far with the Secret Service. And, that, and this is just the Secret Service. The Secret Service spent $60,000 on golf court rentals. He charged the Secret Service $60,000 to rent golf courts at his Golf courses. <laughs> Boy ain't cutting no breaks. 
He's also been charging the Secret Service to stay at his hotels, his various hotels, charging them up. They hit up the Secret Service for a big bill when Donald Trump Jr. went to do a, a business deal overseas. $100,000 for rooms alone. <sighs> Under Trump, 42 people have protection, a number that includes 18 members of his family. That's up from 31 during the Obama administration. In April, CNN reported that Trump's travel to his private club in Florida has cost more than an estimated $20 million in his first 80 days in office, putting the president on pace to surpass former President Barack Obama's eight years of spending on travel in only his first year in office. He's on track. I mean, this don't, this don't bother y'all. This don't piss y'all off. This is your money. This is taxpayers' dollars. He's on pace to spend more money on traveling and leisure and entertainment and uh, secret service fees in one year than Obama spent in his entire eight years in office. And he had the nerve to say Obama didn't know what he was doing. Obama's in over his head. They tried to, and, and you know it was all racist with him. It was strictly racist because he never attacked a president's competence before. He was always riding with presidents in the past. But soon as we get our first black president, he started talking about birthing issues. Ah, uh, he's not American. And he starts questioning his competence. This is a Harvard graduate who at the, graduated at the top of his class. And one of the most brilliant minds to ever be in the White House. But he tried to question his competence. Even when you have a dodo bird, a, a clear dummy, a dude that's, that had to cheat to pass this uh, test in schools. He still can't get over the fact that the black guy just might be smarter. The black guy just may have got it the right way. <laughs> and listen, this ain't even an endorsement of, of, of Barack Obama. This is just to point out the hypocrisy of Donald Trump saying that he's going to work for the American people and he's not going to be vacationing and playing golf. And to this point, this is all he's been doing. He spent like, what, 21 weeks so far? Like 21 weeks or something like that? Uh, hanging out, kicking it, playing golf, chilling. Some people say, well, you know, well, you got to provide the facts. I mean, this is fake news, fake news. Donald Trump and his illegitimate family are screwing the American people. I wonder how much of that money that he's overcharging the Secret Service is going directly into his pockets. You have deplorables out there who support Trump, who thinks that he's really going to deport immigrants and brown people. <laughs> they think that he's really going to build that wall. They think he's going to get rid of Obamacare. <laughs> oh, which, uh, coincidentally, will impact them more negatively than any other group. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Trump i tell you what should happen. The Secret Service should go to Twitter and announce that they're on strike. <laughs> they should get on Twitter and announce they're on strike. Let me tell you something, man. If Cheetos wants to go on all of these vacations, I mean, he's a billionaire, right? 
Or is he a fake billionaire? Okay, so if he wants to go on these vacations and he wants the media to follow this freak show around like he's some type of whale on a beach, then he should pay for it himself. Since you care so much about America, you're going to save America money, you're going to make all these great deals, pay for it yourself. I'm telling you like this, man. I think it would be a good idea to allow North Korea to put in a bid to provide secret service to Donald Trump. I mean, we can get them on the cheap. And I don't think that Kim Jong-un would have any problem with that. Yeah. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Florida, Texas.